Good morning. And a really quick one this morning talking about how to reset the Xbox One to its factory settings. Now, with the new consoles coming out later in the year, I would imagine that some of you will want to do that because obviously you're going to be wanting to sell your current Xbox in order to pay for your new shiny Xbox Series X and maybe even the Xbox Series S. And I've already made a video talking about how to do this for the PlayStation because I'm sure there's PlayStation owners out there who want to do the same for the PlayStation and use their PlayStation 4 to partly fund their PlayStation 5. But as I say, today I want to talk about how to do it for the Xbox. And it's really simple. Basically, what you want to do is go into settings. Now, the way you do that is you would hit the guide button. As you can see, I've got it up here, but normally you would hit the guide button and then you would navigate to settings. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got slightly different menus up on here because I'm in the preview program and I've actually got the front end that everyone's going to be getting down the line. But nevertheless, it's pretty much the same thing you need to do. You need to navigate to settings and then when you click on settings, you would go to system and then console info and then reset console and then you get these options reset and remove everything reset and keep my games and apps and cancel now obviously what we're going to want here is reset and remove everything because what that does is it resets the console back to how it was when you first bought it obviously there will still be updates of firmware on there but it will basically look like a brand new console when you turn it on and it will ask you to do all the setup routine and all the rest of it. So that's what you want. The other thing here, reset and keep my games and apps, that would be usually something you would do if you are having problems with your Xbox and you could try that to solve problems. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. It's reset and remove everything. And, you know, as I say, you want to do that because you don't want your account details and your games and all the rest of it being left on there if you're taking it into CEX or something or you're putting it on eBay to sell it to someone else. You want it to be clean and pristine, ready for them, which will be good for them, but it'll also be good for you because you're not leaving your account details and the rest of it on your Xbox. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do. And if you hit reset and remove, which I'm not going to do here because obviously I want to keep the stuff on this current Xbox, you should be good to go. But uh, as I say, I'm going to cancel here and go back out. And that's pretty much all you would need to do. And it should go through the reset routine and it will leave you with a nice clean console ready to sell. And ready to get your shiny new xbox series x <laughs> anyway look that's it i just wanted to do a quick one because uh i know sometimes microsoft move these things around and it's not always easy to find how to do these things but hopefully that'll be used to somebody and uh if it is give me a thumbs up and uh comment and all the rest of it and uh, in the meantime i'm gonna go and get myself a cup of tea and i'll speak to you guys in the next one bye